Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video I'm excited to introduce the input component for Framer. It allows you to more easily capture email signups on your Framer sites and it has some brand new features like the ability to redirect to a different Framer page on a successful submission. So let's get started and dive into our demo project. You can find the new component in the insert panel under the forms category. So let's drag and drop it onto our demo page. And the first thing you might notice is that this one supports multiple services in one. Loops, FormSpark, Nilchimp, and Get Waitlist. I'll go ahead and connect this one to the Framer newsletter. So I'll paste our loops ID. On successful submissions, we can do one of two things. We can either open an overlay or we can redirect to a custom page. This is especially powerful because it allows us to design our own thank you pages in Framer. But first, let's customize our input a little. We can change the layout as such. We can also pick custom typefaces. So let me add a web font to both the input and the button here. I'll do the same for the button. And we can change the size and the font weight as well. There we go. And this component is especially customizable. Everything from the layout to the colors to the typefaces can be customized. So let's invert the color scheme a little bit here. I'll also tweak the padding just a bit. And let's do the same for our button. There we go. And we can even dock the button within the input as such, which gives us some new property controls as well. I like the docked option, so I'll go ahead and customize the width and inset a little bit here. And I think I'll set the inset property to be four pixels from the input. This is looking better already. And next we can start adding some borders. So I'll go back to the input controls and select the border here. And let's add one that is quite subtle. And then we can also add a focus state. So on focus, I can make sure there's another border that animates from zero to one. And this will overlay our existing border. So it will provide a subtle highlight. And then next we can add the real magic, which is the redirect on success. So we have two pages in this project, the home page and a thanks page. And the thanks page is just a simple confirmation page with a few nice appear effects. And what's cool is that this page could be literally anything, right? You could use the CMS, you could render custom components. It could be anything. Speaking of components, let's make sure that our input component also has a nice appear effect. I'll simply right click on this text here, copy the effect, paste it onto the input, and then I'll make sure that it has a slightly higher delay. Nice. So now we're ready to add the redirect. I'll go ahead and reselect the input component and I'll click on the redirect property. Here, I'll select the thanks page that we looked at earlier, and that should do the trick. So let's go ahead and give this a preview. The component is powered by motion, and it has a few nice touches, like this little shake if you submit without typing anything, and you can see our subtle focus animation as well. And finally, if I put in my email, you'll see that on a successful submission, we get a lovely transition to our thank you page, where I also have a link back to the homepage. And that's pretty much it for this video. We hope you find this new component useful and we can't wait to see how you'll end up customizing it. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.